Hey everyone, Shebim here and welcome back to more of the Return to Glory here at Manchester United. We've had an offer for Anthony Martial of 71 million. We're going to reject that for now. I mean, I'm not completely writing that off in the future though. Um, we have agreed for Alvarado to go out on loan to FC20. And Reina is going out to Dortmund on loan. Which should all happen now actually because we're about to hit the first. Oh, we're in January. There we go. A lot of players have just uh, departed. Let's have a quick look at those. So, Alvarado has left on loan. Reina, Wurtz, Erzi, Palestri, and Mengi has left the club. David De Gea has left the club as well in a transfer. And we can check our youth squad this month. Right, what do we have? 75 to 93, 77 to 91. 81 to 94 is nice. 70 to 90. I'm going to bin you off, actually, I think. Um, Pink Floyd, you're gone. 83 to 89 is not good enough, I'm afraid. 82 to 94, though, is Harry Jones. Hey, uh, you don't want Harry Jones. I'm going to take you up as well. I'm going to take you up, and I'm going to put you straight on the loan list. Um, so we'll do a bit of that. Um, Harry Jones. Harry Jones. Uh, let's go development age. Which is just a number, but we're going to go with Harry. And where are you, Hazza? Harry Jones. There you are, my man. Add you to the loan list. So we've got quite a few players in the loan list still down here. Uh, we've got a few that have done well as well. I mean, look at Jackson Willis. Wow. He's got up seven stat points so far this season. This season, that's huge. Be nice to get him back. Let's have a quick look through our loan players and see who's uh, progressed the most. Um, so, Orozco, Mexican defender, has got up by four. Alvarado, well, he's got up three. He's only just got out on loan. He's got up one already. And we've got McDonald's up five. Erzy's up one. Uh, Wilson up seven, Bellingham up one, which is not great. Graven Birch up one. Uh, one for Cherky, two for Reina, one for Verts, one for Almeida, one for Palestri, one for Doku. It's not as that great. I mean, there's only the one that's having a really good time out on loan, isn't it, at the moment, I suppose. Right. Next up, then, we've got a game against Birmingham in the FA Cup. Uh, what team we're going to go for in this one? Of course, we want to probably mix and match a little bit. Um, I feel like this formation uh, will drop Halland for Greenwood. Henderson can start. Actually, Jonathan David probably should play. Jonathan David can play Cam. So let's put you in there. Um, Kamavinga, Tonali, Milinkovic, Savic. That's probably fine. Up Meccano, Kulabar. Let's bring in Machielli. Uh Where's Kanate? There's Kanate. Kanate worries me as well with his slow progression, to be honest. Okay. And that's a team I think we're happy with for this one. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. Not our strongest team, but by no means weak whatsoever. And it means our strongest team can have a little bit of a break. All right, here we go. Here we go. We should do okay in this one. I believe Birmingham is still in the championship. Um, so we are playing our secondary squad, but it should still be strong enough to win this game, no problem. Oh. Oh, how was that not a goal straight off the bat? Wow. Come on. Got to be this time. It is. Anthony Martial slams it home. Yeah, Martial is an interesting one at this point in time. There's quite a few interesting ones. I think I might have to have another sort of like thought about it in the summer. Uh, maybe before the summer begins just to 
sort of plan out where I see the future going. Who's our strongest 11 and who's our backup 11. Be nice to have two fantastic players for each position. I mean, I'm talking about an 85 rated Martial like he's not good enough. I mean, 85 rated Martial should be good enough anyway. But we can do better, can't we? Right, anyway. We're 1-0 up. We're dominating the game. Oh. That wasn't great. Come on, lads. Let's get that button nice. Right, here we go. Martial. Here's Greenwood. Brings it forward. Looking for a second here. Give us that little bit of uh, breathing space. Breathing room. Something to do with breaths anyway. I know that. Come on. Right, counter-attack is on once again. Greenwood, Tenali, Savic, big ball over the top. Does actually find the man he was looking for. All right, forward once again. And that's half-time. I feel like we're, we're dominating the game, really, aren't we? We've not had, like, massive amounts of possession more, but we are doing more with it. Right. Nice. Greenwood. Oh, oh, I thought that was in then. I thought that was in then. Come on, nice little block again. Tenali. Tellez, come on. I just want to get a second goal. It just gets rid of that worry that we're going to concede a stupid goal and get pulled back into this game. Jonathan David loses it. Oh, if an offer for Jonathan David came in, I would consider it, definitely. I would have to consider it. Come on. Henderson's had a terrible game because he hasn't touched the ball yet. There's Martial. There was second goal. There we go. Woo! Goal for Manchester United. Number nine, Anthony Martial. Here we go. We're done now, though. See this game out. Pick up the... Uh, I was going to say pick up the three points. It's not three points, is it? Put us into the fourth round of the FA Cup. Hopefully get another easy draw. That would be the ideal. Get some easy draws and uh, play our secondary side. be nice to get, let a couple more of the younger players go out on loan as well. Because Willis is really getting the advantage in that. Plus seven, which is amazing. He's gone from a 75 to a 62, which is fantastic. It's got to be Jonathan David makes it 3-0. There he is. There we freaking go. There we go. 3-0 win. We dominated that one. Right. I don't know. Again, it went past so quickly. I can't see if anything uh, fun happened in the FA Cup. But we're in a new month now, so we should get some fun stuff happening anyway. We've got Southampton in the semi-finals of the Carabao Cup. Hmm, okay. It's pretty fun. Uh, let's get some training done. Um, scouts, I think, are back on the 8th. An offer for Kula Bali. 
I'm going to say no. But next year might be a different story. And if I can maybe pick up delete. Delete. I did send the scout. The scouts are still out, aren't they? I've not like missed a whole month, have I? No. They're coming back on the 8th. Then we've got to resend them back out. Okay, remember that. Rem remind me. Remind me after this game we need to send the scouts back out. You might even get to this video, to be honest. Offer for Sancho. PSG have offered 140 million plus Di Maria. I'm not letting Di Maria anywhere near my club ever again. Thank you very much. Right. So, strongest team? Do we want to try this again? Left forward. Right forward. I want to have him as a CDM. Can I not play him as a CDM? Can I not? I don't know if this actually matters how um, far they are back, does it? So you're right just in front of the centre back, okay. Okay. Uh, and we'll save that, yeah. There's a slight change in formation. Moving some of the players around to hopefully get better uh, results. So what we're down to now is just those fine little changes to really uh, min-max the team, aren't we, really? Right. Can we get another win? I've just remembered, I, I mean, I recorded last episode and this episode back-to-back, -back, which means that um, I remember off the top of my head. I think this would actually be five wins in a row in this recording session. If we can bang out uh, another win at the end of this as well. I think it's Burnley. We'll be uh, in a very good position. I think we're in a good position anyway. Like I said, I would like to win the league again. We won it last season in our first season. Um, quite sure what I'm going to be doing uh, in regard to... I don't know, defender-wise, I'm just thinking again about potentially delete. So don't think any of the centre-backs I'm bringing through from the academy are going to be amazing that quick. Rash with a goal. And I wonder whether... Hmm. I feel like Canate's progression's not that quick. It's 2-0. Sancho. Well, you know what? This could work for us. This new little way of playing, because all of a sudden... From right forward and left forward, Sancho and Rashford have both scored a goal. Have I found the magic... Uh, the magic formula? The Krabby Patty formula? Um, for victory here? It's looking good at the moment. Can we continue on with a good run? Fernandez tried to play across, got defensively headed away. But 2 0 up after 30 odd minutes is a very good place to be. Sancho into Haaland. Pogba. Sancho again. Wamba Saka around the back and always oh, hit the crossbar. Wamba Saka's at the crossbar. He went for it. He freaking went for it. It just wasn't enough. Sancho again. This is the best game. Look, Sancho's in a 10 rating. This is the best game Sancho's ever played for us. So this new formation might be, might be the kryptonite. Might be what we've been hoping for all these years. Both Sancho and Rashford having a, a good game. It's like unheard of. It was written in stone over a hundred years ago. No one quite believed it would ever happen. But it's here. I mean, it could just be a freak game for all I know. We might need to try it again later on. But uh, 
we've got some balance now. Uh, we've got another game coming up in a few days' time, so let's um, consider some substitutions. Right, up Makano's knackered. Let's bring on Kanate. Uh, Malinkovic Savic is struggling a bit, so let's bring on Kamavinga. And let's also bring on Jonathan David again. I think he just needs uh, a bit more of a run around. Okay, Donnarumma just booted the ball off the pitch. Very eager to see the, uh, the, the substitutions come on by the looks of it. Not quite sure what he was up to there, to be honest, but hey-ho. It is what it is. Okay. Alright, let's get that ball back. Come on, let's clear the ball out. Let's not concede goals now. Let's uh, keep it clean. Nope, maybe not. Let's let Nathan Redmond slam it into the back of the net and give us a really iffy last 20 minutes. Why not? Rashford. Lost the ball there, but uh, we continue back on the attack. Oh, Sancho got in there. Tried to get it across. Still playing... The best game he's played in a while, but now Bruno Fernandes is not getting any action. We can never just get fun, can we? Alright, Fernandes. Lovely ball. No, it's not a lovely ball. We'll take it though, it's wasting more time, that's the main thing. Gotta be you gotta love a good bit of time wasting. Sancho, go on, man. Yes, Sancho gets his second goal of the game. And I definitely think this is a much better position for Sancho to play in. There we go. 3-1 victory. All right. I mean, we are getting close to that 20-minute mark. I normally would finish it, but we've only played two games. So if I don't know what, what slowed us down so much. It was me faffing about with the uh, the squad, wasn't it? We've had to and transfer off him for Kanate. 47.9 million. Okay. I'll tell you what, we won't play that third game yet. We will have a quick look at the delete situation. Delete. Delete. 22 years of age, 87 rated. Okay, not as high as I expected, to be honest. Broken collarbone, he's out for two months. Okay, that's a bit more awkward. Um, who else is there? There's Varan. How's uh, Raphael Varan looking? 88 rated. Okay. Uh, how about Gerard Piquet? Gerard Piquet. I think I don't remember any of a great centre. Oh, Gerard Pique is 34. I didn't realise he was so old, to be honest. Um, who else is there? There's Ron McNoli. There he is. In the top 26 years of age, 85. So even he's not that good either, really. Has the scout found us any defenders? The scouting on this game is crap, you know. It really is. Um, can I just look at all the players? You found me 13 defenders, apparently. Let's look at the defenders you found. Uh, Longley is 87. You know what? There's not really many other options, is there? Really? I think we're better off just keeping what we've got at the moment with uh, Konate. And the delete deal, I don't think, will go through as yet. Marquinhos, Marquinhos is 88. That's interesting. Um, was that you? That was you, okay. That you, Ronnie Bolton. What have you found me? 
Um, are the same group of players by the looks of it. Okay. Um, I just saw Messi a second. I'm trying to find Messi again. Who, who found me Messi? You found me Messi. Is he on a... I want to see if Messi's on an old free, you know. <laughs> Can't be far away, can he? Jao Fe Even Jao Felix is not looking that great, is he? Just think with the amount of money that I have left to spend as well, what we could actually spend it on. How much money we got? Uh, 388 million. Okay. Let's win the league. Mbappe. 23 years of age, 93 rated. Boom. Um, who else? Is that, there's a guy called Trincao who's supposed to be really good as well, isn't there? I know he's got really high potential. I don't know how good he actually is on the game. Trincao? Francisco Trincao? Okay, well, let's get you scouted. He has that special something. Um, who else is there? There's Vinicius. Not Donny van der Beek. Who's doing well for himself. Yeah, he's 86 rated. Well done, Donny. I'm glad you're having a good career because I couldn't offer it to you. Vinicius Junior. Um, 85 rated. Has potential to be special. And the other one's Rodrigo, isn't it? Rodrigo. There he is. Okay. Well, I think Mbappe is someone that we can possibly pick up now. Uh, and then maybe allow... Where does Mbappe fit there? Mbappe fits in place of Rashford, I think, to be honest. Um, yeah, I think Mbappe can come in and we can allow Jonathan David to leave, maybe. I mean, we've got all this money. Why not go for it? Why not just freaking go balls to the wall? I just want to see if Messi was a free transfer. No, he's not. We can buy him. And Varane, we can buy Delete. We can buy Delete, but of course he's injured at the moment. Mbappe, 252 and 364 million. Let's go for it. Why not? Let's freaking go for it. Um, I don't know whether just to initially offer them... Jonathan David as a as a as a as a sweetener, seventy four million pound Jonathan David. What do you think about that? Okay. I was going to offer you money on top. I just wanted to know if you were interested in Jonathan David first. My God. I'm tempted to try and buy Messi. You know? <laughs> I mean, we don't need Messi, but I'm tempted to try and buy him. Sixty nine million pounds. Uh, Varane will be a good signing. Okay, we'll leave it for now then. We'll leave it for now. We'll, we'll try and Mbappe again a little bit later in the window, but I definitely feel like we can pick him up in this window. Um, let's also put João Felix on the shortlist as well. Why not? Right, we'll leave it there for now then. We'll come back next time. We'll try it again to see if we can pick up Mbappe in a week's time when it allows us to. Um, but I feel like we can definitely improve this team in this window. There are some players we can probably let go. We'll also do the youth scouts next time around as well. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed. Please do like and subscribe. Have a good stuff, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.